Um, good morning. I hope you're doing all well from the storm last night. Um, if you're having problems with your sound, then make sure that your device that you're watching it on is turned all the way up. And then if you're um, casting it to your television, then turn it up from there. So just a piece of advice before we get to talking about Jesus. So this morning, Pastor John is going to read to us out of the Bible. And so he's going to tell us a little bit about Jesus and the road to Emmaus. Emmaus was a town, and people knew that Jesus had died everywhere. And so the two men are walking along the road to Emmaus, and they are very sad. They know that Jesus has died. They do not know that Jesus is risen. But they are going to tell the rest of the town what has happened in Jerusalem. So as they're walking, a stranger joins them. And so we know of one person's name and then his friend. But then this mysterious person joins them on the road. And so as they're walking and talking, the person asks the new mysterious person that's walking with them, why are you so sad? And they say, friend, don't you know? Like something has happened in Jerusalem and Jesus has been crucified. And so Jesus is walking along with them and they do not know that it is him. It takes them some time and they get to their house and it's dangerous at night. So they invite the friend in to sit down at their table. Now, we all know that Jesus in the Last Supper takes the bread and he breaks it. And just like Pastor John says during Holy Communion, he says, this is my body given for you. And so as Jesus breaks the bread at the table, their eyes are opened and they see that it's Jesus. And so the way the rest of the story goes is that Jesus then breaks the bread with them, eats with them, but when their eyes are open, he disappears. So, it reminds us that no matter where we are or what we're doing, Jesus walks with us wherever we go because we keep Jesus right in the center of our hearts and that we can remember in this day and every day that Jesus goes along with us wherever we are whether we're sad or we're glad or we're happy. So today, get outside. It's beautiful. Look at God's creation. But remember that Jesus is everywhere around us. God is in the trees, and God is in the wind, and Jesus is in our hearts. So with that, let us pray. The Lord be with you, and, and also with you. you. Dear good and gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks this day for all that you give us, but especially for your Son, Jesus. Lord, let us re be reminded that Jesus always walks with us, and he is right in the center of our hearts. Lord, during this time of uncertainty, be with us, walk with us, 